in my previous video i had shared that you have got these engravings on the glass container which suggests that as soon as you have reached the last engraving which is the third one here you have already administered the four doses so one thing i would like to reassure everyone that you have not missed your fourth dose from the particular pen device which in this case for example is supposed to administer four doses of 2.5 milligrams now the remaining leftover fluid sadly is a waste which is not designed to come out of this pen device and i can see that the dial does not go back further so today i'm going to see how far can we push and what happens if any force is applied and what is the volume of this fluid to work out the degree of waste we are having from manjaro pen devices with regards to this essential molecule so let's give it a try And the first thing I'll try to do is to dial the back with some force. And I can see this is very tight. It is not moving at all. Now, I can clearly see that it's very difficult to move it further. Some people have tried different instruments to force it further. I can clearly see that the device is fully locked and same applies to this one you cannot dial it further I put a significant amount of force here again this is not something I would recommend because my personal view is this will break the spring mechanism in the hand device and some of the plastic components can be mixed in this fluid which would be considered a contamination and the device as well as the fluid would become unsafe to be used therefore for a personal safety perspective i would discourage the use of pen devices after you have reached this mark because health and safety comes first it is not advisable to try and push your pen device further to try to remove this fluid which sadly is a waste but for your personal safety perspective this would not be a recommended option from medical point of view let's put it in another perspective you are prescribed these 10 tablets but the company tells you that you can only take the eight tablets out while the remaining two will not come out from this packet and you can throw them away how comfortable you would be to throw away the last two tablets this made me wonder that the last bit of fluid in the manjaro quick pen device shouldn't be thrown away and we should try to explore options how to utilize this. So I experimented with four different pen devices that some of the patients had brought back to me and we will look at some of these experiments today. We will try to see if we can force some of this fluid out from this pen device which has already reached its limit after the four dosages. As you can see the back is not moving anymore so I'm just pushing extra force. So with some extra force I've managed to move it till this point one. I'm checking whether the dial is going smoothly. So it's a bit more smoother, but still not a normal feel. There is no sound of breaking of plastic. We can hear some normal clicks, but they get a bit blunted. Now let's see if the fluid comes out smoothly from this. So I'm just going to remove this cap and try to see if pressing at the back is nice and easy. So I'm just putting a gentle pressure now. And actually, it's a very easy gentle pressure. And you can see the fluid is coming out fairly smoothly here. Till the end, till the last drop. So that's the quantity of fluid as we see and the dial is back to zero let's try it with the next pen device if it is a consistent thing with all of them and see if the last quantity of fluid there's still some left but this is coming to zero so something is better than nothing i'll see if this one comes out let me try the dial is going quite easily and i'm just trying to press it oh even the last few drops have come out so technically the last fluid is coming out if the dial is manipulated a little bit with a bit of force here so now i cannot move this back to zero which means 
then the piston is now stuck here. So technically this is the residual fluid which should be stuck and not be coming out. So let's try it with the other pen devices and see if we can do the same. So here we go. So I'm just going to add some more extra force to see it doesn't move, doesn't move. So we need a little bit of strong hands for that. So Okay, I can see I've moved it till one. Does it go back? I want to make sure there's no noise of breaking of springs or anything. There isn't. I'm only hearing the normal clicks, but they get a bit blunted. So I've done it twice now. Uh, I'll do it one more time to see if we're doing the right thing. Okay, it's, the more you do, it becomes actually a little bit smooth. Okay, so let's kind of try to uh, force the fluid out and see if it comes out easily. And I'm just putting very gentle pressure with my thumb. So, yes, it's going very gently. Just the grip is not right, but it is going fairly gently. As you see, it's going fairly gently. So even with my index finger, I can just push it down very easily. And the fluid is coming. You see, the fluid is coming very easily till the last drop. And let's see where the piston gets stuck. So, okay, so the dial is back to zero. And the piston is back to where it should be. Let me see if this last drop comes out. So the dial is moving very nicely, easily. Just going to try one more time if this last bit of fluid also comes out. And yes, here you go. The last few drops coming out again. The fluid is nice and clear. It's coming out easily. And so far, I cannot see any contamination or breakage material there. Let's try the last pen. So I have experimented on three, four pen devices, actually, to force this fluid out. And the same thing now, once the piston is stuck, this area doesn't move down. Now, this is the final locked pen. So here we go. Let's try the last pen device. And we will be good to go whether we fail. So again, very tight. The dial is not moving. Very tight. So a little bit of force. And we have reached one. I'm just moving it back. Moved very easily. It becomes easier to move after two or three rotations. Okay. And let's have a look. So our final fourth pen device. And I'm just going to see if it is a gentle pressure. Uh, yep, it is a gentle pressure. It's just the dexterity, which is not right. So I'm just, you can see how the dial is moving easily with my index finger, very gently. And here we see the stream of fluid coming out, the jet of fluid without any problem. The last few drops come. And even after the last few drops, the last bit of piston, which is stuck there, there is still some fluid left, which comes out at the end. As we see here. So another last bit. So every single drop of Manjaro taken out from the quick pen device. Uh, the fluid is nice and clear. I couldn't hear any, any kind of abnormal sounds um, other than the force that was required to dial the back to suggest that something is broken in the pen device, which I was assuming could happen. Um, the piston has moved quite smoothly till the end. The fluid has not spilled backwards, which means that this is an airtight container and there is no connection of the front part of the container with the back part. So even if there is some sort of concern relation related to um, any, any parts being damaged, there is no connection. So the fluid, um, in theory, should be sterile and should be the same quality as the rest of the injection and hence it shouldn't be a waste and it can constitute another dose for the patients.